Right now we're doing poorly. You're going to get to questions. I promise you, I'm going to get to questions. Well, you know, you know part, part of what we've part of what we said in this country is I'm going to set an example here. There's a lot of people here who've come tonight. I'm going to finish what I'm saying. I promise you, you're going to get the first question tonight. Does that work for you, sir? Sure, sir. Thank you. Thank you for being here because I, I want to end on a note that before we do this, I want everybody in this room to understand this is how we get our country back is we're going to speak the truth. And that's what this campaign is about. Speaking the truth, not just when it's easy, but when it's hard. Speaking the truth, not just to the Democrats on the other side, but to our own side, the Republican Party right here at home. But you lie, dude. You're a liar. Yeah. Thank, you lie about thank, the reality of climate change. You lie. You lie. You're lying to everybody in this room right now. Sir, you are going to make a deal. You know what we're doing this country? This, this is the beauty of the United This is the beauty of the United States of America right here. You are and you know what we're not going to do? I'm going to tell you, for those of you who watched the videos today, we're not going to have a security guard or police officer tackle him and escort him out of the room. Because that's not how we do things in the United States. You know what we're going to do is we're going to give, young man, you know what? You're going to have a chance to speak, but you're going to have a chance to speak after you sit down and be respectful of everybody else in this room. And I'm going to give you a chance to speak. You need to respect everybody in this room. Quit lying. Tell Americans the truth. Thank you. You showed up and ate. Tell Americans the truth. Sir, you can, and, and, I see you. Right? you get from fossil fuels, dude? We're going to have a good discussion today. I promise you that. Because I'm going to speak some... $50 million. Thank you. I promise I promise you, sir. I promise you, sir, you're undermining the own point you want to make. And I'm going to give you a better chance in a moment. If you sit down and actually be respectful of everybody else in here. But there's a free seat. You're going to come up right here? Come on up, buddy. Come on up. Come on up and have a seat. Mr. Ramaswamy, you say that you care about our future and that little girl's future. How much money would it cost? Uh, I, if you want to have a seat and we can have a respectful discussion, we can do that. But if you're not going to have a respectful discussion, this is not going to be doing. So I don't get any money from fossil fuels. You know who's my biggest that's, donor? That's not true. That's actually you, you, absolutely your company, true. Your company Strive owns fifty million dollars in fossil fuels. Massive. Because index funds of every American in this room does, and we deserve to be proud of it. That's and I refuse. Ex excuse me. Okay. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. This isn't productive. This isn't productive. And this is what's wrong in our country. What's right in our country is we have the right of free speech and open debate. And I'm sure this gentleman, I think, has something to say about a similar matter. But we have a generation in this country where we have taught that the way you're supposed to win a debate or otherwise isn't based on region or merit, but to actually just shout the other side down. We don't do that in this country. The way we do things in the United States of America is we engage in free speech and open debate on the merits. We decided at the ballot box where every person's voice and vote counts equally. We don't shout each other down. So... We're going to have a respectful conversation. We're going to open this up, but we're going to speak the hard truth. Speak the truth in public. That's what we're going to do at every step of the way. That's how we get this country back. That is what won us the American Revolution. That is what reunited us after the Civil War. That is what won us two world wars and the Cold War. That is what still gives hope to the free world. And if we can revive that dream, grounded on the First Amendment, that you're free to speak your mind as long as your neighbor gets to in return. As long as you're actually able to worship freely. As long as your neighbor gets to worship as he wishes to in return. Those are the ideals that our nation is founded on. That I will fight for until the very end. That is how we will revive this great country. And that is how we're going to rebuild this country. Leading us to the future. Thank you for coming tonight. God bless you. And God bless our United States of America.